Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandra. In this video, I am going to discussing about a very important concept in string handling that is observe. What is the differences between what is the difference between between string S1 equal to Naresai T, string S1 equal to Naresai T, another one is string s2 equal to string s2 equal to new string of naresai t new string of naresai t so if you are assigning a literal to string internally what happen if you are giving the value to s2 by using new keyword what happen what is the differences between creating string object by using literal as well as creating string object with new keyword one more time i am repeating here what is the difference between creating string object with literal assigning the literal and uh, what is that creating string object by using new keyword very important concept and a lot of uh, stuff we have internally please observe now i am taking one memory management here this is what here memory related to JVM especially to store the data to store the data of string object JVM mainly providing here two objects uh, two memory areas one is one is heap area one is heap area and the one is string constant pool area one is heap area and the one is string constant pool area now observe here whenever we writing whenever we writing string s2 equal to whenever we writing string s2 equal to new string like this jvm internally creating two objects jvm internally creating what here two object one object blindly created in the heap area one object blindly created in the heap area in that object what we have content like nit and memory is what here 1010 and one more object one more object is created in the where string constant pool area the above statement provides provides two objects two objects one is in heap area and the one is string constant pool area above statement provides are creating provides are creating two objects okay one is in the heap area and the one is what here string constant pool area whenever jvm creating object in the heap area it will not checking anything blindly it will creating it will providing one new memory in that memory and it will be placed but whenever jvm trying to create object in the string constant pool area in this area in this area first jvm check is there any content like nit or not is there any content like nit or not if there is no content like nit then only jvm will create or provide a new memory that memory having what your identification number like 2020 that i that memory contains content like nit content like nit okay now here we have a two objects one is in the heap area and the one is what here string constant pool area then what happen jvm this s2 always s2 always pointing to heap area object only s2 always pointing to heap area object only nothing but 1010 then come to the s1 string s1 equal to nit string s s1 equal to what here nit in this particular time what happen here 
in this particular time jvm will create only one object jvm will create only one object but creating an object in the string constant pool first it will checking what here first it will checking first it will checking whether the nit is available in the string constant pool area if the nit is available in the string constant pool area our s1 is blindly pointing to what here 2020 jvm is not providing new memory for nit the old nit memory is going to use it by what here s1 so the main difference between the main difference between string s1 equal to nit nothing but if you are creating a string object by using assigning a literal how many objects are creating here exactly one object if you are creating string object by using new keyword how many objects are going to created two objects blindly in the heap area another one is in the very here string constant pool area but whenever we creating like uh, assigning the value to string variable how many objects are created only one now here already nit is there so again jvm is not providing the memory blindly it will provides what here see already string st equal to new string of nit i am using as a first statement so one is, is created in the heap area another object is created in the string constant pool area now let me use this one as a second string second statement then what happen nit is nit for nit jvm is not creating new object why the already nit is existed before creating an object in the string constant pool jvm is going to check whether the nit content is there or not if there it will not creating new object for example if i am writing like string string s3 equal to string s3 equal to string s3 equal to ram then in this particular time what happen before creating an object for ram before creating or providing memory for ram in scpa nothing but string constant pool jvm is going to check whether the ram content is available or not there is no content like ram so what happen jvm blindly provides the memory for ram content in that ram in that content in that memory ram will be there and that memory identification number is what here in this particular time 3030 that will be pointed by s3 so the final conclusion between creating an object by assigning a string literal creating an object by using new keyword is only one thing if you are assigning a value as a string literal to s1 how many objects are created here only one object that is also in the string constant pool but before creating an object in the string constant pool jvm is going to check whether the content is there or not if the content is not there providing new memory if the content is there existing using the existing memory but if you comes to the creating an object creating string object by using new keyword how many objects are created here two objects are created first one is in the heap area without checking any content but before creating second object in the string constant pool area it is going to check whether the content is available in the string constant pool area or not if not available it will creating new object if available it will not create for example let me write let me write one more string s4 equal to new string of new string of ram so in this particular time what happen jv will creating especially according to this instruction rules are must and should be creating what here two object blindly one object is created in the heap area without checking any content without checking any content okay and one more object is going to created in the very year scpa but in this time not creating the reason is in this time not creating only one object is creating in this time the reason is already ram is available in already ram is available in the scpa nothing but string constant pool if already content is available even though if you are using new keyword how many objects are going to created here exactly one object so this is actual difference between creating string object by using literal and creating an object by using what here new keyword for more videos please subscribe narish it channel thank you